Hello everyone, it's Lisa here from Arcane and Stellar with another Pick a Card reading. So, this Pick a Card reading was actually suggest suggested to me by Darlene. So, Darlene, thank you. Uh, Darlene had messaged me on Instagram and she had said, Oh, you should do one like, does my crush like me back? So, is your crush crushing back on you? That's kind of what we're going to be looking at in this reading, okay? So, we have piles 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, I want to say, you know, take some time to choose your pile. See what you're drawn to. You know, picture your person, take some deep breaths. Again, if you have been watching a lot of pick a cards, might be a good idea to take a break or try to clear your mind uh, because sometimes you can get clogged up. And yeah, so with that being said, like I said, four piles and the timestamps will be down below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do that by going down in the description box below. There is a link to my Etsy store where you can purchase a reading. And then as well, there are links to my Amazon wish list. Um, I, you know, am the type of person who always does a reading for someone who gets something off my wish list. So that's just an option for some of you if you want if you want to do that. Um, it's just an option. And uh, just be sure if you choose that option to leave me your email or your Instagram so I can get a hold of you to do the reading for you. Okay? So, with that being said, I am wishing all of you and your loved ones lots of good health during this time. Take care of yourself and uh, sending you lots of love and I'll see you in your reading. Hello, so if you chose pile number one with this desert rose, this is your reading. So, is your crush crushing back? Does your crush like you back? Let's find out. So, let's see. Um, okay, so how I'm doing this is that I took two cards. The first two cards are gonna represent kind of how your crush is tr currently feeling about you. What are their like, you know, thoughts and feelings sort of um, regarding you? And here we have the King of uh, Cups and the Six of Cups, okay? And then we have, well, three cards for this particular pile as to what is the potential, like what is the romantic potential between the two of you? And then I took some extra Oracle cards just to kind of give some clarification to the connection. And uh, this particular card talks about feelings, and this is just more information. Okay, so... I can see that already your person has like a lot of emotion for you. For some of you, this could be somebody that you've known for a long time. Um, they've perhaps known you for a long time, so they look at you in a very nostalgic light. Um, for many of you, I feel like in this pile, like I said, you either know this person for a long time or you guys are good friends, uh, perhaps. And uh, with the King of Cups here, or the Muse of Emotions, I do think that there are strong in-depth feelings for you okay now for some of you i mean if you're wondering if, if this is a crush and you're wondering how they feel about you there is a good chance that these feelings i mean if you're going to look at it realistically and of course this could be possible it could be romantic feelings already exist but for some of you it could just be that they have strong feelings for you in general um just feelings of love and care okay because we also do have this compassion card so i do feel like whoever you're asking about you must have a pretty deep connection already in some way or there must be some kind of depth to their feelings because they do care a lot about you they have compassion for you just like with the six of cups it's almost like even like as if you were somebody from their family right which doesn't have to make it mean that they don't have a crush on you it's just that there are strong um strong feelings there okay is what i would say kind of like when you've known somebody forever and you have, you know, you care about them a lot, right? Now, the potential of this connection, romantically, we have strength, um, six of wands and the empress, okay? I would, you know, honestly, I would say that there's a pretty decent chance here that um, things could work out between you and your crush. We have the strength card. Now, the strength card does talk about, to me, a very strong bond. I, I don't, see a lot of people talk so much about this but if you notice the infinity symbol there's a strong bond between the lion and the woman right she's uh, been able to kind of uh, work together with this lion to tame it right but not in a forceful terrible way she's very gentle and nurturing in in the way that she does it but still very strong right there's this like uh, she's in the it, it's like this it's just a, it, it really represents a good bond okay and I do feel like you guys have that strength card can also be known to represent sexual attraction okay so there does seem to be that potential here especially with the six of wands 
um, you know, I do think that there's potential for you guys to rec recognize each other in that way. As well with the Empress, I mean, it does seem like there are possibilities here for romance, right? Because the Empress is like someone that's, you know, very beautiful, very loving, very abundant, and somebody who has a lot, who can attract a lot of attention, I want to say. I, and that's what I feel like, you attract a lot of attention here um, with this person. I do think that they have the potential to see you in that way. Um, if they don't already, for some of you this person may, but I just don't want to be... I only took two cards, and I and while they are very emotional cards, which I think is a, a good start here, because it's showing that your person has emotions for you already. Um, which I just don't want to... Since they're, I just want to be responsible, because there are so many different people watching, I don't want to um, necessarily say that because I feel like for some of you, maybe this person hasn't seen it yet. Um, maybe because they haven't seen the potential with the strength card here. It could be that they maybe aren't sure that it's allowed in this type of, you know, in your connection. Or they've tried to hold back. <clears throat> because the strength card can be about battling our inner desires, kind of. Um, so, like, kind of like you're you know, wrangling your inner demons in a way, <laughs> right? Because to, to, to train something, you need to have strong willpower, but also a gentleness, because if you're going to, you know, it's not the type, she's not the type of woman to beat something into submission, right? It's somebody who has, you know, willpower and, and inner strength to not have to go to like, you know, lengthy me measures to, you know, discipline. <laughs> wow, that was kind of like a that was kind of a roller coaster there. <laughs> Woo. Um, no, but what I'm saying here is that it's like there may be some held back desires here, is what it could indicate. But I feel like if they knew it was possible, I really think that your person would actually go for it. And the other reason why I'm feeling this too, not just based off of these cards as well, we have take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed, changed forever. So it does make me feel as if you're kind of being guided to somehow take a chance on this connection. I, You know, I almost just feel like your person doesn't even realize, for some of you. Um, they just might think that they're friend-zoned for a good portion of you, okay? But I do see, like, you know, the, the start, in terms of how they feel about you, I already see the start to a wonderful relationship because, like, they have a lot of compassion, they have a lot of care for you. So, with that being said, I'm going to take some charms. Now, I was... Anna left a message in the last reading, or one of the previous readings. Mm, maybe it wasn't the last one, because I haven't used charms, because I've been outside a lot. But she mentioned that the charms are a bit loud, so I'm going to try to do this away from the microphone a little bit more, okay? Um, because I know it's a bit loud on the microphone, and I don't want to hurt your guys' ears. Maybe if I could just, maybe I'll just try to set them down a little bit lighter. Hopefully that, hopefully that's okay. Okay, there we go. I'll stop. Okay. <clears throat> so what terms have we got? We've got, oh wow, kind, free, true, peace, brave, strong, happy, thankful. Yeah, I really do, <laughs> wow, we have two Pisces. We have Gemini. Cancer, Scorpio, and I think it's Aquarius there. We also have this mermaid. Let's see here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of turn them all over, and then I'll show you guys up close. Okay. Okay, we have an elephant. That always talks to me about like a, a, a very, you know, a strong bond. So, okay, here's, here are your charms. So, again, we have Pisces. You know, Pisces uh, is associated with, you know, sacrifice and compassion. I really do feel like there's a lot of cab compassion between the two of you. I mean, if anything, this has like the chances to be a very beautiful connection. Even if you didn't know this person, um, this person already feels like very kind feelings towards you. So if they're not an old friend, again, there just might be a compassionate nature to them and somehow to you. Maybe you guys have um, Neptune in your sinistry. Um, we also have, like I said, Gemini. Um, if you, you know, if Gemini doesn't resonate, you know, obviously the signs may not match up with you, your signs or your person's signs. 
but they can talk about like you know certain topics right uh, the cancer one it's the fourth house so it could represent the fact that you guys um, share a very close type of bond like you have the ability to be very comfortable with each other in like a home like setting you guys might have similar roots as well right you might some of you did for some of you this could be a childhood friend but not for all of you okay with Gemini here I really am feeling this sense of uh, the fact that you guys probably communicate very easily um, or that you guys talk a lot um, that communication is pretty strong. With Aquarius, it could be that you guys also are in a friendship group, 11th house, right? Um, so I do feel like there's like a dual thing here because see, Gemini can talk about neighbors and like your, you know, kind of your community area. So can Aquarius, but Aquarius can also talk about like the 11th house, can also talk about like social media and the internet. So it could be that you guys, you know, there could be different types of connections here. Some of you, this could be an online friend. For some of you, this could be like just a, a local friend. With Scorpio here, um, again, there could be some some energy of transformation here. There could be a powerful connection here. There could be powerful attraction, powerful um, effect on each other. Um, there could be sometimes uh, Pluto can sometimes cause some obsessive uh, obsessive type of thoughts. But I do see here with the heart that there's a lot of like there's already like some compassion and love here, right? And like I said. Let's see here. We also have a key here, so, you know, key to the heart. But I think this person holds a lot of value to you. They have a lot more to discover, too. I feel like the key can unlock a lot of things. I feel like there's still a lot more to uh, unlock in this connection. We have you versus you. So for some of you, it might be that you haven't taken a chance on this person yet, and it's kind of been you versus your own thoughts um, in terms of, like, what you should do about this, right? You could be uh, really wishing for this, but not making a move, that type of energy. And it says, you're always in my heart. So it does seem like you guys, again, another very strong indication of a, a, a close bond between the two of you or that ability for a close bond to grow. We have musical notes. So songs could be important to you. Music could be mutually important to you guys. Um, you might share music. With the star here, some of you could play video games with this person. You could um, perhaps feel really good around this person. Maybe this person makes you feel invincible. And like I said, with this, there could be... Fa For the elephant, there could be family ties between you. Like maybe your childhood friends again. Or, But again, it just talks to me about like a connection that's very um, bonded, I guess you could say. We have Live Your Dream. Oh, we also have a mermaid. So we have two mermaids here. Ariel. We have one aerial, right? <laughs> so, water type of energy here with the mermaid and aerial. Ariel is very, uh, very independent. She really knows what she wants. She will go after anything to get what she wants, which is Eric, <laughs> and to be on land. And then, let's see. But with mermaids, I always think of something a bit elusive, magical, beautiful, alluring, secretive, or hidden, right? Because uh, mermaids tend to hide, so it could be that you're hiding from your person in some way, and you need to, like, you know, with this mermaid, it could be that you're hiding um, yourself in some way, or hiding your true nature, whereas with, you need to be more like Ariel and sort of go after what you want, right? We also have to do, drink tea, make shit, pet animals, and die. So this could be a philosophy that you and your person share <laughs> for some of you. Or maybe you just have a lot to do, or you both, you know, do a lot of things together. You might, like, you know what I mean? Maybe you guys both have a sarcastic sense of humor. <laughs> so, I'm going to put these charms back. And I'm going to take some letters. So let's get some letters for you guys. Yeah, you guys could have, like, that type of connection in which you guys both have kind of dark senses of humor. Which might be why you guys connect so well and it feels so comfortable. Let's see here. So we already have hide popping out. I'm seeing that right away. Let me flip over everything else. Let's see. Okay, I think we already have the, uh, yeah, friend. I think we have, yeah, looks like it. Yeah, for many of you, this is somebody who's actually a friend to you, okay? We have tell.
<laughs> we almost have a, uh, but we don't quite have a tell him. But we have tell her. So for some of you, this might be a girl that you're asking about. Tell her. Maybe she needs to know. Okay? For some of you, that could be a message. <laughs> oh, we have, let's see. <laughs> we have do it. <laughs> do it already. Lisa says go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Do it. We have, let's see. We have hell. We have dote. So this person, or you could dote on the other, like be all kind and nice and stuff like that. <laughs> we have, let's see. We have hired. Interesting. So that could resonate with someone if this is like somebody who got you hired at a job or something like that along those lines. Or maybe that's how you met them, you hired them for something, or, you know what I mean. We have... No, A. We have sight. Sighted. So maybe quoting things a lot. <laughs> maybe they're a fan, someone's a fan of citations. Let's see, we have four. Mm, let's see. Okay, let's see. We have T H I N thin. We have Thrill as well. We have foe. <laughs> we have tide. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I'm going to stop here so that you guys can kind of, you know, I'll pause it here. You know, look around and see maybe if you see some initials or words that stick out to you that you like. You know, and let me know in the comments below. I always love when you guys tell me it. And I'm always super surprised at how amazing you guys are at finding it. Of course, it's hard for me. I'm on the spot, so I feel, like, nervous. <laughs> I'm getting better, I think, at, like, kind of finding things faster. But, um, I also see Riot. That's a, um, reminds me of League of Legends. I'm a gamer. So, and there is also LOL League of Legends. So maybe some of someone here, maybe possibly, you know. Anyways, mm, let's see. Yeah, okay, I'm going to stop here. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do that by going down in the description box below. There is a link to my Etsy store where you can purchase a reading with me. And there are also links to my Amazon wish list. If you'd like to, you know, get me something off my Amazon wish list. I, you know, either wish list doesn't matter the cost. I always do a reading as a thank you, so just be sure to include um, an email or an email or an Instagram so I can get a hold of you, um, you know, to set up a reading with you. But yeah, I'm wishing you guys all the very best. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you all in the next reading. Bye bye. Hello, guys. So if you chose pile number two with the smoky quartz, this is your reading. So, is your crush crushing back? Let's find out. <laughs> so, how I'm doing this is a little bit, um, well, specific, I guess. Um, first of all, we're going to, I got some oracle cards, and I didn't take too many cards this time. What I took was two cards for feelings, or no, wait, yeah, two cards for feelings. And this is kind of, kind of represent how your person kind of feels and thinks about you right now. And then I've got some cards for the potential outcome for like romantic possibilities. So like the romantic possibilities here. Um, we're going to look into that. So we have, so for their feelings, we have the nine of swords and the three of wands. We also have the three of swords, 
the Three of Cups, the um, Page of Swords or Knave of Swords, and then we have the Fool. Okay, so as your person, your person's feeling a bit nervous about the connection, it seems like. I don't know how in the well you know this person, but there could be, this does, this card usually does indicate that there's something up that could make them feel nervous, whether it's because, you know, you're so amazing, um, or if there's something, now, I'm just looking at some of the cards, we, and we have like three threes coming out, so for some of you, this could be like a third party type of thing, um, and that doesn't have to include another person, for some of you, this person could be like, somebody that you work with or somebody that perhaps you receive a service from um, or somebody in like a position that like for some of you this could be like maybe a psychologist or a doctor or um, like somebody you go to um, this could be somebody where maybe do you know I mean like so if it's not necessarily like a third party thing it could be something else that kind of could cause a bit of nervousness we also have the Three of Wands. So I do feel like they have looked at you. They've admired you. Um, this is probably from afar. You know, one thing I noticed here in this particular imagery, if you look closely, is that the woman's kind of like looking out with her, you know, hand on her forehead, which makes me feel like this person's kind of checked you out, right? <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. But at the same time, it's like with that Nine of Swords, they might feel like, oh, not a good idea. So I'll just look from afar, that type of thing. Like, try not to keep it too close. So what's the potential outcome for you guys? Well, let's see. We start out with a Three of Swords, which isn't looking so hot. It does get a bit better. And... But... Let's see. I'm going to pull these up. So with the Three of Swords, it does seem like there's some potential here, possibly, for some heartbreak. Now, I'm asking about what the romantic potential is. It seems like there could be potential, right? But it could be something that would um, require heartbreak. Okay, for some of you, this could be something in which somebody would have to leave somebody to be with you, or it could break someone else's heart, or it could hurt somebody. That's not going to be for everybody, of course. We do have the Three of Chalices, which indicates a good time. So again, there could just be some challenges here that are a little bit hurtful with that Three of Swords. With the Three of Cups, I'm seeing some positive stuff. I do see with this, um, you know, this, pa this page and this uh, Three of Cups that there could be that potential for a good friendship, for a good relationship. And with the Fool, perhaps even something better in the future. But I do think that this one does come with some challenges here. So do I think your person is crushing back? I think that they've definitely checked you out. I want to say that they've looked at you, but I feel like that there's just something here that makes this connection a little bit difficult or challenging in some way, perhaps hurtful with that possibility to be hurtful to somebody. For some of you too, it's like, okay, for some of you, this could be like a friendship um, in which they could there could be fears about it ruining a friendship, but I don't feel like that would be the case. Um, because the Three of Swords comes before the Three of Cups, so I'm kind of feeling like... Mm, I feel like that could somehow be overcome if it is a friendship. Do you know what I mean? So if there are, like, were fears that are, were held back because, like, oh, what if we ruin our good friendship? I feel like that wouldn't be the case for those specific to that kind of situation. I feel like it could all be worked out. With the full, I mean, there's potential for new beginnings here. Um, or for some kind of like risky kind of endeavor for this to go forward perhaps in the future but at the same time it does seem like there could be some challenges here and with the page of swords hmm, sometimes that can be about watching a bit more than acting and so there could be that chance that it kind of some of these um, things don't aren't ended up ugh, some things may not be um, spoken Exactly. But I still think there's that there is potential for some of you. Depending on the hurdles and like kind of how you want to deal with them, of course. We have service. So this person does feel of service to you. That's interesting. This was supposed to be a feeling card. So this person feels like they want to help you in some way. 
Okay, they want to be of service to you. They might also feel like you're of service to them. That's why for some of you, this could be like a professional type of situation, but it could also be a friendship. Um, because I think that we serve our friends, at least I like to serve my friends in some way if I can, as much as I can. And, uh, you know, I feel like that's part of friendship is, you know, trying to be of service to each other and help each other out. And then we have do something for someone. Give your attention to another. So it seems like you guys do stuff for each other is what I'm feeling. Because this is kind of to give some clarification about the connection. So it does make me feel as if this is a connection which you guys are doing. Someone's doing something for somebody. Okay? That's why I'm almost wondering if there's professionalism here going on or something of that nature. I'm going to take an advice card for you just because... And you know what, I might even do it a little bit differently because I know that there are different people watching. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three cards of advice and you're going to pick which one you want. And that will be your advice, okay? So wait a second, where's my... Oh, wait, there it is right there in front of my face. I'm going to just take a Wisdom of the Oracle card because I just feel like there might be different people here. So I'd make, like to make sure that I help, you know, give some advice. So can I get some advice? Whoops. Don't look. Close your eyes. <laughs> These things are flying. Can I get some advice? Okay. Oh my god, sorry. It's that one. Okay, so, three pieces of advice, okay? So you can kind of maybe pick a, pick a card. <laughs> Hopefully you guys didn't cheat and see that. <laughs> Which, I mean, how could you have not known to cheat? Because, hello. So, milk and honey. This is an interesting one. I wonder, honestly, what the advice here is. I mean, I do think that that means that there's some possibility here. Because, like, I always, I say this in personal readings a lot, but whenever I see this card, I think of Winnie the Pooh. There was a movie in the, the 90s. I loved it. And they, I remember there were these little dudes that would say, The land of milk and honey! The land of milk and honey! And that's what I think every time I see that card. Okay. <clears throat> so 51. The taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met, sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers. Sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. Interesting. So for some of you, especially if you pick this one, this might be the situation in which you need to be a service to this person and like be nurturing to them, okay? That might be your advice actually in this connection, um, by the way. Okay, so for number two, we have clean it up. This is getting to know your person a bit more. Um, with a relationship message, it usually talks about, um, you know, time to clear the air, take a look at your side of the street, and say what's on your mind. Sweep away the old stuff so that a spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It's a perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what's yours and what's not yours to clean up the relationship. Everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what you brought with you and let go of what is no longer needed. Become unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. Interesting. It says, look at the baggage you brought. For some of you, if this is a third-party situation, it might be having to clean that up if it's on your end. Um, if it's on their end, obviously, you might not be able to do anything about that. But, um, again, it could be about spending time together more, trying to clean up the relationship. And then on the third one, we have soulmates. So it does seem like this is a soul partner for some of you that, you know, perhaps chose this one, this piece of advice. And it says, consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same, regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you are meant to be. Even a companion am animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention for you are in the presence of a soulmate. Come to guide you home to the real you. Interesting. So what is that as advice? Recognizing this person as a soulmate. Realizing that this connection is faded in some way, that this connection has um, something to offer you in terms of your growth. So I'm going to take some charms, and I'm trying to be careful not to throw them down, because Anna mentioned in a, in a previous video recently that it's quite loud on your ears, and I'm very sorry for that. 
because I didn't realize I don't listen to myself when I when I edit very much because it's so cringy. So I'm gonna try to do it away from the microphone. Here we've got, ooh, a cactus. Oh, so cute. Okay, we have Jack. We have two Jacks. We have a, a wand, which kind of reminds me of the magician. We, oh, we got that term in the last pile too, a cross. So a cross could talk about some burden, some religion here. For some of you, someone could be religious, there could be morals involved here, or difficulties, okay? We have Aries. Scorpio, Libra, Cancer, and Sagittarius, as well as Pisces. Okay, I'm going to bring these up, and then we have the Fleur de Lis. Oh, 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 you know someone actually mentioned in the comments something very interesting about the Fleur de Lis, about it being um, perhaps uh, regarding loyalty, um, right? Okay, so, and maybe history buffs as well. Um, okay, France as well, perhaps, as well. <laughs> Okay, stopping now. So with the cactus, hmm, you know cactuses, well first of all they can be very tough on the outside, very, you know, they're kind of tough looking, but very beautiful. So there could be some, you know, one of you is kind of a bit tough, maybe it has a rough exterior. They're also very um, resilient, right? And also when you stomp on them when you're 10 and stupid, they also can go through your shoe and, and poke you in the foot. Just, it's just saying. I experienced that. Okay, cat. So maybe cats are important here. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, the cross, like I said, there can be some burdens here. There could be a religious factor for some of you. Moral factors. Um, also, it could feel very spiritual as well, right? Let's not just make the cross all about bad stuff. <laughs> or, or well, not morals aren't bad, but you know what I mean. Um, the burdens. <laughs> Because we always say cross to bear, right? Okay, so with the wand, it could be that there's uh, more power than you think in this situation, perhaps, for some of you. It also could feel quite magical, right? Because a magic wand could feel like you got struck by something, like a spell. Um, we have kind, um, compassionate, brave, free, true, peace, happy. We have a lot of different words here that perhaps indicate how the, you know you guys feel about each other. We have she believed she could, so she did. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world, Marilyn Monroe, no matter where, and you're always in my heart. For some of you, there might be a distance here, but this, um, you're always in my heart no matter where you are, because we have Sagittarius here, which can sometimes represent that idea of distance. So for some of you, there might be a distance here. And 12th house as well with Pisces. Uh huh. There could be a distance there too, because sometimes that's about being removed. Um, yeah. 12th house ruler in the third can often um, talk about, um, a, or no, third house ruler in the 12th. There we go. Sorry. I think it would be that way. It would be maybe a sibling who lives far away. Okay. Anyways, not astrology lesson. Um, with the moon here, there definitely is intuition here. Pisces, there's probably a very intuitive connection here. You might dream about each other. You might have um, a lot of Neptune in your sinistry and maybe a Neptune moon contact as well. We've got Scorpio, so like I said, these could be signs um, relevant. But Aries talks about you know our physical body, like our physical physical self, how we appear to the world. It's the first house, kind of um, our attitude. With Cancer, fourth house, seventh house. Interesting. We almost have all of the angle ho angular houses, except for the tenth. So yeah, interesting about that partner. This is house of partnership about one-on-one -on -one relationships. Okay. So yeah, there might be a transformative energy here. With Pluto, it could be a little bit toxic at times, huh? Or there might be something toxic about this connection, or difficult, or dangerous, okay? Take it as it resonates. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing for your charms. I'm gonna go ahead and put those back. Hopefully I didn't miss any. Okay. So let's get some letters. I'm gonna try to... Oh, one fell out, I'll get it, don't worry.
<clears throat> Let me just see what fell down. Oops. Hey. Okay. okay, right away I'm seeing fan. Mm, that song Paparazzi came into my head. Okay, let's see. We have my. We have as well. We have mate. <laughs> right, we have late. Timing could be something here. We have two eight. We have too late. We have sure. We have yarn. Some of you might like to knit or craft, or it might have a lot of um, a lot of uh, tangles to it. Yarn can get tangled up sometimes, especially if you pull certain brands from the inside. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'm having a lot of experience this reading, <laughs> sharing a lot of dumb stuff I've done. <laughs> fire, okay, so someone could be a fire sign. I also see earth, so there could be fire and earth. No, we don't have earth, never mind, I thought we had a T, an H I mean. Okay, well we almost have earth, I'm still going to say it, maybe it's still there. We have, oh, we have tame. So maybe someone's trying to tame feelings here, or you've tried, tried to keep it tame, okay? We have rare, so there could be something rare about this. Fair. Some of you might feel some way that this isn't fair. It says not fair. We have lame. We have a name. Okay, one second. I think I, we have error. Maybe not quite. No, not quite, but we almost have error. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll stop here because, oh, we also have fail. <laughs> Anyways, I'll stop here so that I don't waste too much more of your time. It's already been almost 20 minutes, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. I'm wishing you guys all the very best. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do that by going down in the description box below. There are There's a link to my uh, my Etsy where you can purchase a reading as well as a link to my Amazon wishlist. And uh, my Amazon wishlist, of course, anybody who gets a, you know, who uh, decides to get something off of there gets a reading as a thank you. So, you know, that's just an option for some of you if you don't want to do Etsy and you want to contribute to, like, the channel or my own personal desires. <laughs> um, yeah, so just be sure to leave. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That was probably loud. Um, it, you know, just be sure to leave an email, right? Or um, a way to contact you at Instagram, email, in the gift note. But anyways, guys, take care of yourselves, and I will see you all in the next reading. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so if you chose pile number three with this opal, this is your reading. So your crush. Does your crush like you back? What's the potential here? Um, <clears throat> so I took um, some oracle cards kind of to give some more insight. And then as well, I, so basically I took two cards for feelings, kind of like what your crush actually feels about you right now. And then um, what the potential is here for romance right? What's the romantic potential? <clears throat> so, let's start. So for their feelings, we've got the Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So I do feel like this person really likes you. Um, for some of you, this might be somebody that you talk to quite a bit here with the Eight of Wands. 
Um, they might really like conversing with you, discussing things with you. There's probably an interest here. Um, it could be quite innocent still, though, for some of you. Um, there could be some passion, but the page usually does represent a younger energy. So in terms of, it doesn't mean that the person has to be young. It just means that perhaps the feelings are a bit young, a bit more innocent. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I would definitely feel like they like talking to you. Now, I noticed in the feelings as well, which I pulled here, we have despair and trust. So, you could be dealing with someone that's had some problems in the past and has a hard time trusting. They're interested, I feel, but there might be some trust issues um, opening up is what I'm feeling strongly here. Um, so again, there might be a little bit of a depression in this person and perhaps it takes them some time to open up. Wow, okay. I wasn't actually expecting that from these cards. I, I see them when I pull them, you know, but I don't always, sometimes I'll get messages right away and sometimes it's just when I start to read that they kind of start coming in. So with the, so the potential for romance here. I see that Nine of Swords. I think that there's some things to work through, some anxieties to work through. Perhaps there are some challenges here. This does seem very mental in nature, okay? So it seems like there could be some mental blockages. It could have to do with this person's despair, okay? With the kind of the things that they're going through mentally. This person could be a little bit kind of not mentally broken per se, but they might have some stuff to work through, okay? But I do think that there's potential for this connection, okay? Um, to grow into something much more stable and with much more firmer foundation. Because we have the Four of Wands and we have the Strength card. So I do feel, and then the Six of Swords. Is there romantic potential? I think I think there could be here with the Four of Wands. Um, I do think there's romantic potential. I do think that this could grow into something more stable and strong. Um, I think it was pile number one that got the Strength card. But, um, you know, the strength card can um, represent a connection to me that's very special because I think there's a special relationship between, you know, the woman that's usually depicted and the lion, right? Um, she's been able to train it without having to, you know, be harsh. It's a very special connection. It's a, you know, it's often, um, you could see the infinity symbol in that connection, which does remind me of like a soul connection myself. That's just my own personal view and opinion. That's kind of how I, I look at that card. It can also um, talk about strength, can talk about sexual desire. So it does seem like that could grow um, if this person, it seems like this page of wands like maybe this innocent and there is passion here though i do feel like um i do think that they're interested in you like perhaps even with that eight of wands sexually okay i do feel like that can grow into something more firmer and uh strong here with this six of swords i do feel like these anxieties since the first card's a nine of swords and the the, the last one's the six of swords it just make me feel like as if there is hope to kind of um get out of this you know, Nine of Swords or any kind of bad energy that's kind of going on. So I do see hope for this connection um, growing. So, you know, I do feel like this person is perhaps crushing a bit on you back. I think they might be a bit held back, though. Um, it may be a little bit hard to get them to open up, is what I'm feeling, you know, pretty strongly. We have this card, which says, have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. And it does seem as if this situation is going to take some time is what I'm feeling that um, but there is hope for it so I do feel like there's this message to kind of you know kind of hold on um, and not let go per se yet you know what I mean um, it might just take some time again if you really want to get to know this person I would probably suggest you know uh, you know talking to them more and, and getting them to help them open up perhaps um, get to know them let's just see what is pile number three? The people that chose pile number three, what do they need to know about this connection? Reflect. Peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back. So, I saw, it kind of went back in there, but I saw ambition, which made me think like empathy. So there's more beneath the surface. So yeah, this person has more going on between, you know, underneath in them that kind of has to be worked through. It does seem like you are being called, as long as this person isn't being mean or abusive or rude to you, um, it does seem like you're being called to have empathy with them. Um, you know, 
dream, follow your yearning for the deep blue sea. So it does seem like also this idea of dreaming, you know, dreaming of this, bringing it into fruition, perhaps. Um, it doesn't feel like a pipe dream. I feel like this could actually come to something. Dance. Take inspiration from the moonlight dancing on the surface of the sea. See, dance kind of reminds me of like, it's like, what are what's a dance? It's like moves, you know, coordinated moves. It might be that you have to kind of um, work at this, right? Because to learn to dance, you have to like learn it, right? You have to learn how to do all the moves, especially with a partner. And so it might be that you have to just learn this person and, you know, have empathy for them. Again, of course, if they're, you know, healthy to be around, of course. Um, so that's kind of the advice I'm seeing is just to keep on with this connection and, uh, you know, have faith that it could work out, that if you, you know, put some effort into it and you kind of give some love and care and this person will eventually open up perhaps. Okay, so I'm going to take some charms and I'm going to try to be, I'm going to get them off camera and then gently drop them on here because Anna mentioned in a comment recently that it's very loud on your ears and I feel really bad because I didn't realize that it was that loud because I don't really listen to myself back like I said in a previous file because it's kind of cringy who likes their own voice <laughs> and I have my eyes closed so I'm not cheating don't worry So let's see what we've got here. We've got Aries, Cherries, Aries, Cherries. <laughs> we've got Good Vibes. Yeah, I feel like this person needs Good Vibes. What in the heck happened here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> we've got Good Vibes. We've got the Mermaid. The Mermaid reminds you of the fact that like mermaids are so elusive, right? And you can't really find them easily or see them easily, you know, they're kind of like secretive by nature. So this person could be a little bit secretive by nature as well. But I feel like with that swan, there's a lot of beauty to be had here. The swan kind of reminds me of the story of the ugly duckling. So it's like one of those situations in which, um, you know, there can be transformation into something beautiful eventually, I do think. We have the heart here, so there's that potential for love, I feel like, you know, to share emotions, to share what's in your heart. We have strong is beautiful. We have the fairy, reminds you of something very magical. My, you know, that's what it reminds me of. The bow, it kind of reminds me of something cute and sweet. Something innocent. Little girls wear bows. And, you know, little girls are innocent. <laughs> kind of gives me that vibe there. Also kind of cute. Cutesy. We have always with the heart. And B. Wishes do come true. So <laughs> that's a good message right there. We have, um... I think this is supposed to be like Aquarius or Virgo. Um, it reminds me of the star card. Kind of that there is healing and hope here. And then with Aries. Could be that, you know, these are signs that are prominent. But it could be also that with Aries that there just needs to be more action. You know, Mars. <laughs> and then we have cherries. So it doesn't remind me of a pear. Interesting. Bell came out. This is somebody that could be hard to open up, okay? Think, think about Belle and the Beast. Belle had to have a lot of, you know, patience to get through to the Beast. Now, she wasn't a pushover or anything like that. She kind of stood her ground, right? But, um, so that might be something, like an approach that you have to actually take with this person. You know what I mean? To be more, <clears throat> to be assertive, but also be caring at the same time. Because we have Strong is beautiful, and Belle's definitely beautiful, and her strength was very beautiful as well. Um... My, you guys also might um, relate on an intellectual level, I feel. And we have good vibes. So it does seem like this person needs good vibes. They need nurturing here. We have the moon. It does indicate the moon, you know, that there could be an intuitive connection between the two of you as well. Um, again, they might need kind of like this uh, feminine nurturing type of energy, whether you're masculine or whatever. It doesn't matter your gender, but they might really need this like, you know, nurturing type of feminine energy, to, you know, that's caring and loving. Uh, not that men aren't or anything like that. I'm just talking about that type of energy. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing there with the charms. 
I'm gonna put these back and I'm gonna take some letters. So let's get some letters and see what pops up. Okay, we have a blank. Okay, let's see. We have we have rock. So this person could be a little bit unmovable in some way, a bit heavy to move. Um, also, they might have, you know, be a bit hard, uh, hard you know, kind of hard-headed. Um, with the rock, also, maybe rock music is important here for some of you. We have teen. Interesting. So, teen. There could be something that happened in, in their teenage years that, uh, you know, uh, affected them. There could be, someone could have a teenager, <laughs> for instance. Someone could be a teenager, have a teenager. Um, let's see. We have as well. Track. Track reminds me of running. So this person could be a bit of a runner sometimes from maybe like their feelings or something. They might run from connections with track too. It might be part of a track, like there's a track that you kind of have to follow with this person. Also music, kind of does remind me of music here, a track, like a track from a, an album. We've got, we have Nate, by the way. I see that name, Nate, Nathan. We have Kate as well, both spellings, K or C. We have Dave as well. Cave, cave could be that, yeah, they kind of keep their stuff hidden away. We have Ron. I'm seeing a lot of names this time. We have Kara. So two spellings of Kara, whether it's with a K or a C as well. We also have Tara, 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 Tara. We have, we could have Daria as well. We almost have Veronica or Veronica. Let's see here. We have tear. Or tear. Tear or tear. Okay. So there could be a little bit of sadness here within this person or within this connection. With that nine of swords, again, tears perhaps. Um, let's see. What else am I seeing? Creed. Creed is a rock band. An old one that's not really around anymore. Also, Creed could be about um, having a certain motto, right? Or Creed that you live by. We have Jock. So someone could be sportsy. With track. Okay, someone could be a runner, actually. Uh, that's probably not going to resonate with most people. Like I said, Jock. There could be someone who does sports. Running, marathons, that type of stuff, maybe. We have deer. So it could be that this person's quite gentle or someone's gentle or maybe there's a gentle approach needed. Deer are also, you know, usually quite skittish. I live around a lot of deer. You'll see that <laughs> in my Instagram or sometimes I'm, well, I had one in, in a reading recently, some deer. 
we have them all over, they sit outside. Let's see. We have Joe as well. Yeah, so I'm going to just stop here and not take any more, like, I won't take any more of your time. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to take any more of your time. <laughs> Sorry, I was just seeing. Let me know if you guys see any, you know, like letters, words, anything that means anything to you, or if you see something cool that I missed. I love hearing about it, and uh, I would love to, you know, hear about it. <laughs> and if you'd like to subscribe, like, you know, I, I appreciate any support that I get. And uh, if you'd like to have a personal reading, you can do that by going down in the description box below. There's a link to my Etsy store where you can purchase a reading as well as there are links to my Amazon wish list. Um, anybody who gets something off my Amazon wish list always gets a reading as a thank you. So be sure if you choose that option to leave an email or an Instagram in the gift note so then I can get in touch with you. Okay? So take care guys and I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye bye. Hello everyone. So if you chose pile number four with the rainbow moonstone this is your reading so let's see is your crush crushing back does your crush like you back what's going on with the crush let's find out <laughs> so <clears throat> let's see so i took two cards for feelings what are your crush's current feelings kind of how are they seeing you what's going on with that and then the rest of the cards are going to actually be about um the potential of this connection okay i felt like that would be more useful like what's the potential here we've got a lot of strength cards in these readings um we have justice as a potential we have strength the moon and the two of cups with it finishing off on the two of cups i'm i am feeling like there's a, a good chance something good can happen here now what they're feeling right now towards you what is this person feeling a lot of passion here with the ace of wands this person could be very attracted to you um, but I do have a feeling that for some of the, you know, for many of your, the people that you're asking about, there's a strong att attraction, but there might be some blockages here, um, mentally. So they might be trying to block it off and not really see it, um, or feel it exactly. <laughs> and more so not feel it. Uh, so they might be trying to again, block that. There might be a reasoning for that. Um, there could be something in your connection that, um, what could be something that, you know, they don't want to feel right now because of certain situations and, you know, maybe they have some previous trauma or problems or it could be for some of you that there's something a bit difficult about this connection, like as if, like, you know, maybe someone's in a relationship or some kind of complication or drama. That could be where that's coming from. Or it could be, you know, a work thing where they're like, oh man, I like this person, but nope, no, I got to put the blinders on. Can't do that. Can't do workplace romance. Um, you know what I mean? So take it as it resonates. But I do feel like this person does like you, okay? I think that they do have a spark there for you. They're just, but there are some blockages here, so they might not be seeing it very outright. Or they might be trying to, I guess, ignore it more than anything. They're not going to really act on it. Um, I also took a card for their feelings down here, and this is Sanctuary. It says, a sanctuary resides inside you no matter what is happening. This inner temple beckons you to enter. Take a deep breath, enter, and sit down on the throne of your own heart. Hmm. So, I feel like there are two meanings here. And I feel like right now, they kind of take sanctuary inside of themselves, okay? I feel like that's what they're kind of do. They withdraw and they try not to really see or feel anything when it comes to you for some reason. Whatever reason that is, like I said, it could be self-protection, it could be you know, self-preservation. It could be a number of things, but there is a reason, um, probably why they're doing that. Now, they could also be a little bit afraid of embracing emotions because we do have embrace your emotions here, which tells me more about this connection. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Um, they may have trouble with that. Okay. Now, what's the potential? We have Justice and the Strength card in the Moon. We have three major arcana actually, and it's finishing up with the Two of Cups. I mean, ultimately, I would say that there is a good chance for romantic success in this connection, like that this could go somewhere romantically, that there could be feelings developing. With Justice, there might be a sense of needing to find some kind of ba balance in this connection. Now, 
this could present a challenge for some of you if this is like a third party situation. There are only two on the scale, right? So it seems like maybe something would have to shift there so that you guys could come into balance together, just the two of you. Um, for others of you, maybe if it's a work thing, it might be a little bit tricky to kind of find that balance. With strength though, like I said, in some other, the other piles that had strength, I, you know, I often see strength as a very like loving card. Um, it can be a bit of a held back emotion and a bit with the moon here, it could be unexpressed emotions for a while. It could be too here, if you guys are holding back on this person, it could be that this is a, a you know a suggestion um, to you to embrace your emotions and kind to kind of allow your feelings to surface for this person and let them know, okay? Um, because I think with the moon here, there's a little bit of a an unclear energy. Now this could be an intuitive connection in which you guys really are able to tap into each other's emotions, especially if you stick it around here with the strength card. If you kind of stick it out with this person and you try to find that balance and you keep trying and you open them up, this could actually maybe get somewhere better, okay? But on the other hand too, with the moon card, sometimes you can talk about illusions and um, fantasies as well, by the way. Um, it's not often mentioned, but yeah, the moon can talk about fantasies. And I think there is a, a risk here of perhaps you, the viewer, perhaps being too held back. And then it could maybe even tamper with the potential of this connection. So if that is something that resonates with you, if maybe you're, you have a hard time speaking up about your feelings or being open about them, and maybe it's just easier to kind of stay back and dream, it might be telling you to kind of go forward in this connection to express something. With the two of swords here, for some of you even, this person, especially if this resonates with you, what I was just kind of saying, this person may not be aware that you like them the way that you do. They may be somehow blind to it. They're not quite seeing it clearly, okay? So that could be for some of you. I really do feel like there is potential here, especially with that Two of Cups, especially for a close connection. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take some charms. So, does your crush like you back? I do think that they have passion for you. I do think that you've sparked an interest in them. They may not be aware of your feelings, which could be throwing them off, or there could be something um, to this connection that needs to be balanced out a little bit in order to kind of make this go forward, okay? So, I'm going to take some charms, and like I mentioned in the other piles, I'm going to try to do them quieter because Anna mentioned in a comment that it's quite loud and I don't want to hurt your guys' ears. Okay, so let's see. We have to-do list. <laughs> okay, the mushroom. <clears throat> we got my grill. Okay. That's fun. I just put that in there. I was going to my grandma, my great grandmother's charms. And speaking of my great grandma, she was a my my great grandmother was actually an artist for Disney, and this this is from her when she passed. My grandma gave me a bunch of her costume jewelry. So we have grandmas are great coming out. So maybe this could be a message to you from you know a grandmother. The locket on here does remind me of something someone that we can keep close to our heart, right? We have a key here. So it perhaps there is still some more to unlock about this person, unlock about this connection. With the moon there, it could be that, yeah, there's just more to know here, more knowledge to gain. We have a moon here with the crown and the wings. That does remind me of an intuitive type of connection with cancer as well. Cancer in the moon, the fourth house. Yeah, there could be, again, a very emotional connection, an emotional bond here that could develop with the Pisces and the Cancer here. Um, I am feeling a very intuitive connection. This might be something that feels very faded and soulmate-y. Um, we have don't look back, that's not where you're going. Interesting. So maybe there's a past with this person. We have forever. So it's maybe somebody that's just kind of like you can't get rid of them. You'll just have feelings for them. You're always in my heart. So there might be like a long-term connection. For some of you, this might not even be um, somebody new. Um, you might have known this person or you, like maybe you knew them when you were younger and you just can't get them out of your heart. Like they're always there. Um, with the cherries, it does remind me of like two kind of like peas in a pod or two cherries on a stem. <laughs> we're making that up. <laughs> we have 
I can. There might be, for some of you, this might be a second chance type of connection. Like, you've known them, you want another chance. Yeah, there we go. The extra life of Mario. Gaming could be a thing between you guys. Doesn't have to be, though. Um, to do. Drink tea, make shit, pet animals, die. When I see this, I think of somebody who's quite busy, right? Might have a lot to do. Someone might be, you know, working a lot or doing a lot of things, have a lot of things on their to-do list. They might be organized. Also, what it does remind me of is that um, maybe you guys have a sarcastic kind of connection. Maybe you guys have, like, a, a dark sense of humor, okay? And we have Ariel. Oh, you know what came to my mind? It's a song. Oh, my gosh. There's a song. It's, it's called Beauty and the Beast by Stevie Nicks. And that's funny because Beauty and the Beast charm didn't come out, but... There's a lyric in there, and it says we come from different worlds, but we are the same. And that's kind of like Ariel and Eric. They came from different worlds, but they were, like, the same. They still, like, cared about each other. They could still have love, even if they were quite different. So that's what kind of just flew to my mind, so I'm just going to stick with it. I'm going to roll with it. But you can take some other meanings from Ariel, too, of course. Yeah, but my grandma, my great grandmother, whose charm that was, she was an artist for Disney. She worked on Snow White, um, and some other stuff, Old Mickey and stuff. I think Snow White was the only big film she did. I think it was the rest of it was more Old Mickey Mouse. She was really old. She passed when she was a hundred. Uh, she was like a few days away from her hundred and first birthday. Let's see. I get some letters. So let's see what we've got here. Well, we've got a lot of vowels. Wow. If we weren't joking with the vowels. Okay. I might just take, like, let's get some of these consonants. Let's see if we get anything. Okay. Oh, well, wow. We got another vowel. Okay. Clearly, we just. <laughs> we need vowels. Apparently, we just. Yeah. Okay. We've got team. So teamwork could be working together like a team, could be on the same team, there could be something about a team. We have yen, that's like Japanese money, so maybe someone's Japanese. We've got, we've got tire. For some of you, okay, tire could be something, but some of you could be tired of the connection, like you're tired of it, or maybe, for some of you. We've got meat as well. Meat. And we've got meat, like meat, like you meet up. We've got... Turn. We've also got yearn. So this could be something that you've yearned for for years or that you've been wanting for a while. Um, there could be a yearning between the both of you as well with that ace of wands. Let's see. Yeah, I got time. We've got tear and tear. As well, so for some of you, this could this connection could cause a lot of tears, <laughs> or it could be tearing you up a bit. Let's see. Yeah, we have a Nat. Natalie reminds me of Nate. We have name. We've got. Let's see. We've got Rumi. We've got tea right there. Tea. So maybe you like to drink tea. Someone likes to drink tea. We also have tie. That could be professional. Somebody who, you know, wears a tie. Could yeah, like it could indicate like a professional type of connection. We have yum. We've got run. Okay, so running in the connection could be a thing. Oh, we have okay, E that fell down. E T. <laughs> 
yeah so I'm gonna stop here and just let you guys if you see any any words or something that makes sense to you I love hearing about it in the comments below and uh, yeah I hope that everybody's doing well and healthy and taking care of yourselves and I, I wish you and your loved ones lots of good vibes like I mentioned in the intro but yeah if you'd like to have a personal reading with me you can do that by going down in the description box below there's a link to my Etsy and uh, you can purchase a reading through Etsy or you can um, purchase, if anyone um, purchases something off my Amazon wish list, I have two of them, I always give a reading as a thank you. So that's another option if, if that's something you'd like to do. Um, just be sure if you choose that option to, you know, leave an email or an Instagram so I can get a hold of you. But yeah, I'm wishing you all the very best and I'll see you all in the next reading, okay? Take care.